This is the third video to help you represent yourself in civil matters in court. So far, we've covered that whether you are the one starting the argument or the one responding, you both need to write a clear ticket to get on board. The destination for your flight is your trial. When you go on a flight, you can't take everything with you. You have to select what you are really going to use and you need to stay within the baggage allowance rules. This video is all about the luggage you can have at the destination, the court. In video one, we explained all the things which are banned from the flight. This video looks at what luggage you can bring. This is so important. It's really like a stopover because getting the luggage right is a big step. You might have to unpack some things you were hoping to bring. If you bring too much or pack the wrong things, it could be very expensive for you and could even cause your case to fail. The court rules are that you can only bring essential luggage. There's no excess baggage allowance, so you need to know what is essential. Then you can write your packing list. And finally, you have to let everyone check your luggage before you can reboard the flight. So firstly, how do you decide what is the essential luggage? Well, it's the luggage which connects the issues you are actually arguing about. These are known as the issues in dispute. To decide what issues are in dispute, look at all the documents filed so far. They make pairs or sets like this. The first pair is the statement of claim and the defense. If an allegation in the statement of claim has been admitted in the defense, then you are not arguing about that issue, so it's not in dispute. Go through each allegation in a copy of the statement of claim and cross out the ones which have been admitted in the defense. Everything that is left is still in dispute. Another pair of documents could be the defense and the reply. Check them and any other pairs of documents against each other and see what's left. Once you have the list of what is left to argue about, the material facts, you are ready to begin writing your packing list. This is a good time to double check that your statement of claim or defense contain all the essential facts you need, as we explained in video one. If you suddenly realize that you've left something important out from your documents, which you now realize is essential luggage, you may need to change your documents. This is called amending, and there are special rules about how and when you can do this. For each of the matters which are still in dispute, you need to have evidence to prove your arguments. Some of the material facts won't be in dispute anymore, so you'll just need to focus on the evidence for the issues in dispute. Just like on a plane trip, you won't be able to bring anything you like. Any evidence needs to be relevant and admissible. Evidence can include testimony from a witness or any documents like letters, emails, CDs, recordings, or computer data. So one of the issues in dispute is the validity of the first valuation of Dina's business. The person who did that's been my friend for years. She's a great person. All right, does she have qualifications? Yes, she's registered and has her own website. Uh, you'll need to ask her to come to court as a witness. Can't I just get a copy of her diploma and tell the court myself? I'm afraid not. Um, anything she's told you is hearsay. That is, a witness can only talk about what they've seen, heard, or know through their own knowledge. Um, if she doesn't come, the court's able to assume that anything she would have said wouldn't have helped your case. And that's the rule of Jones and Dunkel. Okay, I'll ask her. You should also think about getting an expert just to confirm that her qualifications are legit. Gee, that sounds expensive. Is that really necessary? Unfortunately so. The only person who can give an opinion is an expert witness. Moving on, another issue you need to prove is what you lost in the deal. It's cost me everything. I can't sleep at night because Dean has been posting rubbish about me on Facebook. Well, you can't claim for lost sleep. And what Dean has been posting on Facebook isn't that relevant to these proceedings. Let's look at the uniforms. How much were they? Do you have a receipt? Um, yes, here it is. I also had to drive up to the coast to go and choose them. Unfortunately, the time you spent going up the coast isn't actually that relevant, so let's just stick to the receipt. So now you know exactly what you are arguing about and have written up a detailed packing list of the evidence for each issue. Now you need to pack your essential luggage. In the Queensland courts, this process is called preparing a list of documents. In other courts or tribunals, you might have to list your evidence in an affidavit or a statement. Then it's time to check with the other passengers to see what luggage they are bringing and to show them what you have packed. This can be called disclosure or discovery or filing and serving your evidence in chief. There will probably be a time limit for when this needs to be done. 
In Queensland courts, this all happens within 28 days after the parties have finished filing the documents that set out their material facts, which as a group are called pleadings. While you're at the stopover, you may also like to think about whether you still want to continue to your final destination, or if you can come to an agreement with the other side now and avoid getting back on the flight. Before a case gets to trial, the parties need to know as much as possible about the other side's case. There's no such thing as trial by ambush. Judges don't like surprises at trial, and we certainly don't like parties wasting time. That's why disclosure is important. That's the process of giving the other side notice of documents that you have which are relevant to the issues in the case. Remember, the general rule is, if you have not disclosed a document, it may not be used in the trial.